Okay, 7.4b, we're going to jump to example 6 using the same table here. Um, Eric Kynard earned a silver medal. He jumped a height of 2.33 meters. And we're going to change that to feet and inches. Okay, so what you're going to have to do is decide whether you're going to find it in feet or inches and then go from there. So we're only going to do one at a time. So let's go ahead and just find it in feet and then we can deal with the inches later. So what they want is 2.33 is the same as 7 feet 8 inches. So that's what they want in an answer, your feet and inches. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's just change 2.33 meters to feet. So 2.33 meters times meters and what do I know about feet and meters? Well, right here, um, I'm going to use 3.28 feet in one meter. So those cross out. We're left with feet, so that's what I'm looking for. So 2.33 times 3.28 will give me... Um, the, the number of feet. And when you multiply that, you get 7.6424. All right, so this is how many feet. Well, it says it wants it in feet and inches. And one of the things when you're dealing with decimals is the left side of the decimal is your feet. The right side of the decimal is your inches. So we know he jumped seven feet, but this is not in inches, it's still in feet, but this is what we look at to convert that to inches. So we're going to leave the 7 alone. The 7 is our feet, so we're just going to put that up there. And what we're going to look at is our decimal, 0 0.6424. So 0 0.6424, and again, since we found it in feet, 0 0.6424 is how many um, inches he jumped. Um, the 7 plus some number of inches, but this is the inches in feet, if that makes any sense. Um, so we're going to have to change that from feet to inches, and we do that by doing our conversion. Let me make that as uh, feet, and we're going to change that to inches. So I'm going to put feet here. Put one there to 12 inches, and those cross out. So if I take 0.6424 times 12, um, I get about 7.7 .7 inches. So he jumped 7 feet. 7.7 .7 inches. Now, one of the things it says is round my inches to the nearest inch. Well, 7.7, .7, um, this number here is, is 5 or bigger, so I'm going to jump that one up to 8. So, 7 feet 8 inches would be the rounded off answer. So, Probably the key thing to this that makes it a little difficult is the inch part. So we found the feet. We, we did the whole thing to get it to be feet, and it was 7.6424 feet. The decimal part of the foot is what we changed to inches, and that's what we did here. We just took the decimal, changed it to inches, and added it to the 7. So 7 foot. 7.7 .7 inches, and then we just took the 7.7 .7 inches and rounded it up to the nearest inch, which would be up to 8 inches. So 7 foot 8 inches is our answer. Now back in chapter 3, we were talking about temperature in both Fahrenheit and Celsius. And what I have there is a piece of a table from the book as far as how to convert from Fahrenheit to Celsius and Celsius to Fahrenheit. So uh, I wish there was a quick and easy way to do that, but there really isn't. Example 7 gives us a temperature of 120 degrees Celsius. And they want us to change that to degrees Fahrenheit. 
So we're given Celsius and we're looking for Fahrenheit. Celsius to Fahrenheit right there. So Fahrenheit equals 9 over 5 times the amount they gave us. I'm just going to leave the degree off. Plus 32. Okay, so in order to do this, we're going to do the multiplication first. So we're going to take 9 times 120 and divide that answer by 5, and we get 216. We're going to add 32 to that from here, and that's going to give us our degrees in Fahrenheit, 248 degrees Fahrenheit. Now if we were going the other way around, and I gave you Fahrenheit, and I wanted you to change it to Celsius, so we would do, let's see, example 8, uh, 102 degrees Fahrenheit. So they gave 102 degrees Fahrenheit, they want to change it to Celsius. So we're going from Fahrenheit to Celsius. C equals 5 times the Fahrenheit, 102 minus 32 divided by 9. The whole thing divided by 9. So what we're going to do is this first. We're going to take 102 minus 32 and get 70. So I'm just going to leave everything else alone. I'm going to multiply 5 times 70 and get 350. And I'm going to divide that by 9 and get 38.9 degrees Celsius. So when you have 102 fever, that's 38.9 degrees Celsius. So given that formula, um, if somebody were to tell you that, and let's say you went to Europe and you looked at the bank temperature and it said it was um, 25 degrees Celsius. 25 degrees Celsius. Well, I have no idea how hot that is, so I have to convert that to Fahrenheit. I really can't use that formula. Fahrenheit equals 9 fifths um, C plus 32. I mean, that is not a fun formula to remember, let alone actually do. So there is kind of a quick and easy way to estimate. You take your degree Celsius, you double it, and add 30. And that isn't exactly what it is, but it's close enough. So 25 times 2 is 50, plus 30 is 80 degrees. So 25 degrees Celsius is close to uh, 25 degrees Celsius is close to 80 degrees Fahrenheit. Actually, if you were to use this formula, you would get 77 degrees Fahrenheit. So it is off, but, you know, they're close enough that you have an idea, you know, that it's not blistering hot, but it's pretty warm out. So anyway, that's just an approximation that uh, always works. If you have Celsius, just double it and add 30, and you've got a number that's pretty close to what it is in Fahrenheit. So I can do that in my head. That isn't too bad. So hopefully that helps.